What's up YouTube and welcome back to Homebrew Subaru. In this episode, I'm going to start on the exhaust system. So what's up everyone? Today I'm gonna to start on to some exhaust work. I did receive the eBay header and up pipe that I ordered and well, uh, it's eBay quality, so I ran into a few issues. I had to contact the seller. I have already started this video and kind of got to the point of being held up because I I didn't want to start modifying this pipe and not get any money back from the seller or have to return it to the seller. So we negotiated a deal and I'm ready to continue work, but I kind of just show you a little clips of what I've taken already and to the point that I am right now. What's up YouTube and welcome back to Homebrew Subaru. So this is a cheap eBay header and up pipe combo and I'm gonna weld these shut to start with. I've taken the radiator back out of the way so I got some room to see what I'm doing here. I've identified the major problem and it's kind of over on this side here located just underneath the flange. The pipes are actually touching the subframe over here. And basically what I'm trying to say at this point is this cheap eBay header is not a direct bolt-on. You can see how much longer the first set of pipes is than it needs to be. I think the only way to really do this is probably cut the these two pipes from the flange and try and get them to actually meet up with these outer pipes. And I mean it is just cheap cheap stuff anyway so you know the quality control is just out the window. So I've literally left this the way that it was in that last clip and I think where I'm going to start is probably take this front set of pipes out and take them to my shop and cut the pipes right off the flange with the chop saw or miter saw and that way I'll have a nice straight cut cut and it'll be as thin as possible so I don't I don't lose any pipe and then I'll bring it all back. I can mount the flange and start tacking what I need to and get everything in place. So the idea is just to uh, reset these front pipes and keep this the secondary pipe uh, the way that it is. I still have to figure out the flange on the end of it, whether I'm going to have to use a V-band or not, but we'll decide, make that decision and more at the end of the video. So I'm moving along at a pretty good pace here. I've already had the pipes cut, uh, so I just took a quick pick of it. And then I've been able to sit them in place where exactly I want them. And I've got tacks up on the flange part, which is kind of hard to see up in there. And then I've got the pipes just sitting into the secondary pipe and got a good bead here and a tack down there. So I'm ready to take down the whole thing and just finish welding and then I will put it back in place just to make sure everything fits properly and then as long as it does I'm just gonna kinda clean up the welds, cut off these tangs and uh, get ready to paint it. So I finally have the header all done uh, so now it's basically just a one piece bolt-on unit it's not a bunch of pieces that aren't going to work for me uh, so the flange has been reset on the pipes and the pipes have been uh, welded at the slip joint and I put an extra little bridge in the center here to kind of reinforce everything. I just want to go ahead and cut those four tangs off the back and then I've got this uh, high heat resistant paint. Uh, it's basically just barbecue paint. I did get it at Napa but uh, I think a few coats of that and I'm even going to spray some on the inside here, just where the welds kind of came through. And I did take my carbide and kind of go around in here, but I see some more beads that I'm just going to try and clean up before I uh, go ahead and paint it. And then because it's such a beautiful day outside, I'm going to bring the pipe out here, spray it outside, let it sit in the sun, and the sun hitting that black paint should make it set really quickly. And then I can go ahead and get it heat wrapped. So I just wanted to show that I did get the up pipe into place. I let this motor mount go and jacked up on the oil pan. I think because of the size of the up pipe, it is a little bit too large in my opinion. 
uh, that you might have to do the same with WRX just to get this pipe into place. Uh, but I did take my cutoff wheel and just snip a little corner off that cylinder head to give a little bit more clearance. But the way that it's sitting there now, I think the flange should just bolt up and work for me. And here's the header. Uh, so a couple coats of that hot heat resistant paint and then let it set in the sun. It baked on there really nice. Uh, so the only last thing I really want to do here is use some heat wrap. I do have two rolls of this, so I probably have enough to do uh, maybe this header and the up pipe with one roll, and then maybe I'll do a little bit of the down pipe with the other roll. I'm not quite sure yet, but um, so I'm going to soak this and get ready to wrap this guy up, and then we can see what it looks like. So finally getting to this point, it was a little bit more than I had intended. I initially wanted to weld those split joints anyway, and paint and heat wrap it, but uh, welding this flange over on this side did add quite a little bit more work, but now that it is done, it's a perfectly aligned bolt-on header. So uh, there's, there's no issues of the lineup which really means it's probably never going to crack as long as my welds hold up it shouldn't be an issue now one last thing is up in the back there you can kind of see how the up pipe sits and you can just barely see it but there's the flange of it there and the pipe is so big that it still wants to hit the cylinder head so i i already know that it needs to be adapted and I need to do something with it. It's going to take me a little bit of time, a little bit longer than the header, I'd imagine. And I may need to order some stainless pipe. I'm not quite sure yet. I think I am going to reuse the flange and not bother with a V band because there seems to be plenty of room to bolt the uh, up pipe on and off. So, to be perfectly honest, having that on there. Uh, is a big step forward. Now I can start lining up the up pipe and making the alignment issues that I need with it to get the turbo in the position I need. And this is kind of stuff that I did a long time ago with the NA style header. And just being the turbo car, I kind of need that, that turbo style header. And I think the way that it is aligned now, it probably just work on another car. The up pipe is going to be another story because that's going to reposition the turbo a little bit. So there's going to be some angling. And I think to get past the cylinder head, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to have to drop the size of the pipe or angle it a little differently. Uh, there seems to be enough room to pass through there. So, but yeah, uh, one big step forward and might take me a little bit while to get another video up. I might have to order some pipe and try and figure out what I'm gonna do. But if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here and you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button for me. Leave your questions and comments further down below. And I'll see you in the next one.